two years later, the sovereign glory, immediately in the next one hour, they were apportioning blame on Fulanis, which is by headers, this, this, and that. But after all investigations, all investigations, till today, no one Fulani man has been convicted. So they should be patient and allow the security to do their work so that they will bring out exactly who did what, at where, and when. All right, but, but, but Malam Nora, you, you know, much as yes, we get your point, uh, yes, they should allow the authorities to investigate and find out what exactly happened, but you started out by saying from your investigation that they were hoodlums. So Yes, they are um, the hoodlums are armed robbers. Okay, but are you taking your own advice? Because some will say, oh, but wait a minute, you say you're investigating, you have already come to a conclusion, uh, which they wonder that, don't you think that you could have also waited for the police before you arrive at that conclusion that they are hoodlums and not full any? Yes. The scenario, if you look at the scenario, is why I'm saying so. Because these people were not packed, uh, attacked in a market or in their houses or anywhere else. It was on the road while going back from a market. So what you should expect is armed robbers that attack them and do what they did. So we should not uh, start in, uh, uh, apportioning blames on a whole community that is in a peace with, with, with other people. If you look at Plato State, we have been in the peace for the past two years. Because this, this, the state government, the security agencies, we the community leaders, religion leaders, and opinion leaders have been brought together to discuss the issues, and we have been discussing these issues, and they are fruitful for us that we, 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 Plato is now coming to a peaceful uh, situation. Therefore, if we get something like this, and we look at the scenario of the whole pro problem, and then we start uh, investigating. So it is too early, it's too early to start apportioning blames on who did the, the, the desperately act. Okay, Marlon Nura, even though you have already apportioned blames to uh, saying that it's not the, the herdsmen but, um, but uh, hoodlums and uh, arm robbers, according to you, let's look at uh, that item that one of your Fulani members is missing and uh, what developed after that was a threat to the Riyom residents that, that their community will be attacked. Are you saying that that threat hasn't come to fruition at this point? Mm. Let, me, let me give you a, a, a small data of how they have been attacking our Fulani people in Plateau State. In the last month of, of October, we lost about 19 Fulani hatsmen across Plateau State, not in only the local government. Across Plateau State. If I may give you this small story, on the 4th of October, two Fulani persons were attacked, were stopped from their vehicles, where they conducted a search, a stop and search vehicles to see if Fulani will be found in these vehicles in Aurora of Barak in the local government. That is one. On the 15th of this, this, this same month, six boys were attacked and killed, beheaded in Buffalo local government. If you go to Wasi, uh, on the 20th, 20, 20, 20, this boy you are talking of was missing on the 22nd of October in Uriom local government. If you move to Wasi, on the 28th, Another person was missing. We are not missing really, but attacked and killed while harvesting his rice. Then we are shooting. And then if you go to Mangu, on the 3rd of this month, November, 
And if that man was maltreated to death by some people who we know them, all these attacks, nobody was arrested. Even though we can identify who did the, the, the dastardly act, like in Bariki Ladi, we know them in, in Wase, they were identified. In Mangu, they were identified. But that of Rion and Basa, that of Panshin, and the rest of them, we are not identified as who did the, the, the dastardly act. And then why would they paint out only the local government? Why? If we will do, if we will, uh, do a reprisal, maybe we took the, the scenario from the beginning to the end. If then we will start attacking the raw environment, we will go to Basa, we will go, if you can understand the scenario. Sorry. So, this is the fact that, yes, our own has moved in the area. But we have set down the security agencies with the government, with the community, and we are doing everything possible to see we calm down our people, and they are listening to us. We are doing our best. And okay. therefore, I, I sincerely believe, and um, I'm telling the world that it is not Fulani who did this atrocity. This atrocity is something that has been, like, it, is, it looks like a criminal activity that is, and robbery. All right, Madam Nora. Like we appreciate your talking to us this morning. Uh, thank you very much indeed for that.